Hey everyone, I wanted to do a really quick review on the Royal Brew Nitro Brew Keg. I didn't really see any online and uh, I'm a big coffee buff. I like nitros, but as you know, they're rather expensive. Um, so I gave this a shot and uh, in short, I was really impressed and just want to show you really quickly how to use it and why I like it. So it comes with a manual. I'm not going to focus too much on how it's put together, but it's not too difficult. It's only a few key parts. Uh, you've got a hose and then um, some whippets as well. You can find these on Amazon. I'll put a link below of where you can find them. I made this uh, cold brew at home. You can buy some. Uh, if you make it at home, what I typically do is one part coffee to four parts water. So like a mason jar, as an example, is five cups. I'll do one cup of ground coffee and four cups of water. Let it sit for 24 hours and then filter it out uh, in, for me, a pour over. If you have other filtration methods, they work as well. But really all you need to do is just pour this cold brew into the keg and then you'll infuse a nitrogen uh, cartridge with this equipment. It's really straightforward. All right, so now that we've got our cold brew loaded, you're going to want to take the top of the keg here that screws in and ensure that you take one of the hoses. They give you about five. Uh, just attach the flat side to the top of this or to the bottom of this component. Now you want to get it pretty tight. Um, I recommend you know going. Pretty much as tight as you can, give it a little bit of flexible room. When this gets colder, all the metal contracts and it actually makes it a little bit harder to take off. But you definitely want to seal it to where it's airtight, um, give it a few good cranks, attach the keg tap, uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> the, um, they provide you a tool too so you can finger tighten it. And then they recommend in the manual that you actually uh, use this tool to give it two more um, rotations. So there's actually little grooves here. You put this tool in and give it two more turns so now that's uh, completely airtight you're ready to infuse the nitrogen and then uh, they recommend putting it in the refrigerator for an hour uh, the nitrogen does seem to kind of raise the temperature just a bit um, so I do recommend actually letting it sit in the refrigerator for an hour but at that point you'll have ready to go uh, nitro coffee and uh, it's really good all you need to do is just put one with the uh, tip here towards the opening. The next turn, uh, once it's nice and snug up against it, it'll start to, um, it'll release this nitrogen into the keg. And at that point, you wanna shake it around for about 15 to 20 seconds to kind of infuse the nitrogen with the cold brew. So we're gonna set this in the fridge for an hour and we'll show you the result and uh, overall, Super simple to make. Uh, it's, I think this uh, size was $150. If you're the kind of person that likes nitro a lot, makes a lot of cold brew, I think it's totally worth it. We'll show you here in just a bit. So it's been an hour. Uh, we let this guy sit in the fridge and it's nice and cold now. I just wanted to show you what it looks like when it's done. Our nitro, you can see it now. Starting to settle, but we've got a really nice creamy top. Uh, I used a Brazilian bean to make some cold brew, but like I said, you can make your own at home. You can buy some as well. But uh, even after tasting it, I mean, this is just as good as you would get from Starbucks, from any local coffee shop, from a can at a convenience store. Highly recommend. I think if you're a coffee aficionado, you drink it a lot, this is totally worth the $150. And uh, enjoy your Metro.